Hey, how's it going? This is Khalid back on KKCA and in today's video I'm going to be showing you with this awesome transition in After Effects using the displacement map. And this technique is actually used to create most of the glitch titles you see on the internet, so it should be very helpful. And I'm going to be providing a download link to this project file so you can take a look at it and see for yourself the exact same parameters and settings that I used. So you get a clear or better idea on how to create this effect and i'm just using a third party script preset i mean provided by video lancer or i don't know i'm gonna be putting a download link to this chromatic aberration effect script uh, again preset sorry so you might want to check that out and anyway so now i'm, I'm going to hide all of these in a folder so they won't disturb us and then create a new composition and i suggest that you go for 60 fps for it to look smooth because let's face it everything looks smooth at 60 fps or above and again so now we need to duplicate this composition four times using ctrl d to duplicate so name the first one C1 for clip 1 and then second one C2 for clip 2 and then third one DM1 for displacement map 1 and then this one for DM2 for displacement map 2 and then rename this one to the main so we can differentiate and then okay so put this image in the first one or it can be your clip if, only, if you want it to be and then in the first displacement map and the second in the second and the second displacement map and then put all of these four in the main composition so now what's left is just resizing so let's go into each one of these and then clicking on control alt shift j or h depending on the aspect ratio of your image it should fit perfectly okay And what's this? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, let's close that and go to the main. And then arrange these two. So clip two. And then displacement map two. And then we want to have clip one, displacement map one. And hide the displacement maps. And go to other one of these and then click on the image. And just go here, effects and presets, and then search for an effect called cell pattern then apply it then from here change it to crystallize high quality and then the disperse to zero percent and the size i don't know i found out that 150 works fine for most cases and then copy this exact same effect and put it in the second displacement map and there we have it so now what's that is to create an adjustment layer so control alt and then y to create to do it and then go where you want your transition to happen and then Control shift d to make like an exact copy just without anything okay so let's just add a displacement map to it and then from here on change the settings and then we can do that later so make sure to check wrap pixels around so that you won't get wait just me let me just show you what you're gonna get if you don't enable it so if we add the effect lightness and then off so you can see that we have these green areas and we definitely don't want that so if you click it it's gonna fill those areas and that's exactly how we want our transition to look like so change it back to zero or i don't know let's say 500 okay so now we're going to click on Control shift and then d so that we have two <coughs> and yeah so for the beginning of this one so we just want like here we want 500 then make a keyframe 
and then go back like 40 40 frames backwards clicking on holding on shift and then clicking on page up four times so it should take you 10 frames backwards then set it to zero so we're getting this effect and click on shift so that it snaps to this keyframe and then go one step forward clicking on page down and then here we want to set like 500 and then just select the second displacement map and yep 500 and then add a keyframe then move 40 40 keyframes forwards then set it to zero so click on U and you should get same effect just we want to hide this we want to like these ones to start right here and these two to end right here S sorry so click on shift for it to snap and you should get something like this and to make it even better we're gonna click on F9 and uh, but I'm not gonna do it because I'm recording and it's gonna stop the recording so we can just go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease and same thing for these two right click and then keyframe assistant and then easy ease and then just click on these two and then go to the graph editor and you really want the, your curve to be like this so that it's super slow and then it goes like super fast and then we're gonna do the inverse so we want it to go to start super fast and end up really slow so it's like a mirroring effect if you may or i don't know what i found works perfectly for me so uh, we have like zero to 500 so we here want minus 500 and then zero okay so you can see that this is much better and if we now add that chromatic aberration so create another adjustment layer and then fast chromatics yep and remember i'm gonna i'm gonna be putting a link to this preset in the video description so you may want to check this out and then download it so the shape you want i don't know i think i use blue yellow and we want to go where where it starts So the shape should be zero. Oh, sorry, I just <laughs> fucked that up. So go to the split, then set it to zero around here. Then to seventy around here. And then to the end, we want it to be zero again. Okay, so zero. So I did the same thing to these keyframes. Uh, I split that ad adjustment layer and made a copy and then added some curves. So it's the same thing as these two for it to look smooth. Okay, so and now we want to trim this and play it and see what we got. And that's so much better. And I hope that this video was nice and easy. And yeah, so... If you liked it then give it a thumbs up and if you disliked it then give it a thumbs down like subscribe to our channel and see you in the next time